Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to Sins of a Solar Empire. It has been, what, well over a year since we've played this on the channel. I used to cover the mods for this all the time. It just kind of fell out of it. Honestly, I think it's because Stellaris came out. Uh, when that came out, I, I kind of moved over to that as my 4X game. But if you've never played Sins, it's actually a great strategy title, and it has a very unique feature to it where you can zoom all the way out and see all of the sectors have these huge fleets battling it out. That's kind of its claim to fame, and all in real time. Because you've always had these 4X games, they've always been turn-based, but this one came out and was like, boom, real-time combat with multiplayer. You can have these huge multiple stars if you want to, which gets a little weird. Uh, I always normally do like a one-star sector, but it's pretty cool. The best part about it, though, of course, if you're on this channel, is the mods for it. And there is one mod that I'm ashamed to say I have never played, and it's made by the same guys who made Star Trek Armada 3, which is probably the best Star Trek game, not even the best mod for Sins, because there are a lot of great mods for this, but probably the best Star Trek mod you could play is Armada 3. These, those guys, which is my favorite mod, made this, and I have yet to play it, to my great shame. So we're gonna play some Ages of the Federation before your war. Now, I'm over on Twitch streaming this, and they have informed me that this is a ser one of a series of mods. It's been a bit since this has gotten an update. But this is one of a series of mods that's going to be covering the various timelines. So we've got this one, which is the four-year war. If you don't know where that is, this is going to be like, I think you start with an NX class if you play as the Federation. I have not. This is a blind Let's Play, by the way. So we're going to be learning together as we play. But you start with the NX class, which is the Enterprise series. And then it goes all the way up to, I believe, right to the edge of... Uh, the original series with Kirk, right? So the Constitution class would be like the latest ship that you could get in this. And that's that's a cool timeline to play in, right? So we've got the four-year This This version of it is called Beneath the Raptor's Wings, just like Star Trek Armada when they do these big releases. They always give them a tagline. And this one's, well, Beneath the Raptor's Wings. And they say that, and I am disappointed that um, we're never going to have Brels in this, which is my favorite Klingon ship. I look forward to playing Klingons, but today we're going to be playing as the Federation because it's probably the best one to learn off of, I'm thinking. And I think Shad agrees with me. Uh, starting with the Federation, they're normally fairly balanced on their on their economy versus warfare and their research, at least in Armada 3, so I'm assuming that's how it is in this, but we'll see. Playable factions in this. Let's go to single player. Uh, I love that they've changed all the menus. Everything's custom here. We are playing some custom music in the background and not the music that is with the mod because of obvious reasons you can guess over on YouTube. Uh, let's grab, we're gonna do a small map as I'm learning. We're not gonna go something crazy. I probably wanna figure out who my favorite faction is before we do that, so we'll do a random small. Actually, we could do one of their custom maps. Stovacor. Only those who are worthy gain passage to Stovacor. Max players three. Eh, I kinda want a 1v1 map. These are all should we do should we do a, a three-player map and do all three factions? That could be cool. Let's do it. To Stovacor. Yeah, we'll play on the Klingon map. Why not? So we'll choose that map. Smaller map. We're gonna play as the Federation. Here's the three factions. We've got the Federation. We've got the Klingon Empire and the Romulan Star Empire. Shame cut up says it. I know. Which they actually show some of their ships. I have no idea what the Romulan Star Empire gets for ships at this era. I mean, you barely see them. I know Enterprise had like one Romulan ship in it. Weirdly, it even had a, a, had a Borg, like a sim half assimilated ship in it at one point, which was weird because they're not even supposed to be in the timeline yet. Um, definitely know what the Klingons get. Yeah, we get, oh, that's not the Vorcha, it's the Fudai. I don't know how much of this is gonna be based on Discovery because I haven't watched Discovery yet. I've watched the part of the first season. So that's gonna be new. Um, what do we get? We get the Ares. These are capital ships, right? Now, one of the cool things that I've been told about this is that, and you can see all the little different groups, the little... Interesting. We're taking Federation. Uh, is that this is more focused on a smaller number of ships and that those ships are far more important. If you've ever played... Let's go ahead and get the Klingon logo on here. We'll go with that one. Uh, and let's get the Federation one, which is what we're going to be using. We'll go with, like, a nice yellow color. Um... And then Romulan Star Empire. Let's do all three factions. All right. And yeah, no, green is good, but we'll change the we'll change the logo. Give me the where's the Romulan Romulan logo here. There we go. Go that one. Nice. Um, I 
kind of want to bump these guys down. Uh, can we get away with normal? We're probably going to get our ass kicked on normal. Let us, I've not. This is completely. No, we're not going to cruel. I'm going to throw them on easy as a learn. What do you think? Easy or normal? Right, what's the balance like on this? Go easy. Don't do normal. Okay. Do easy. Cut up says. Until you learn. Is it, It's pretty crazy then. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Y'all know y'all know better than me. I don't know where their balance is on this one. I do remember the classic days of Star Trek Armada, five versus the Borg, and how hard they used to be. I actually don't know how they are in the newest version. We need to do another one of those matches, but there we go. We got the Federation. But yeah, I guess there's it's all about smaller numbers in this. So those capital ships, you know, if I lose the Enterprise, it's gonna mean a hell of a lot more. Um, and their abilities, I guess, are more powerful, and when to use them is going to be more important. And of course, I'm going to butcher all this. That's it's a blind. Let's play. But here we go. Just jump in and fire. You'll be fine. Easy, and you'll still get messed up. Wow. Why, why, uh, hmm. Why you got to say that? Oh, man. It's been ages. Turn on the alert box so you guys can see it. All right. Uh, oh, man. There's new UI elements and everything. Okay, research. We've got our criminal stuff. We've got our relationships. And we've got our diplomacy, which we won't really be needing those other two because there won't be any diplomacy up in this place. Our goal is to take out the enemy. Uh, turn out the game volume a little bit. Take out the enemy um, planet. Capital ship. Capital ship. Capital planet. Now, this is the coolest thing about this game. If you've never played since, I can zoom all the way out and I can see the entire sector. Oh, I love their, their UI elements here. Sensors active. Can I pause? Yeah, I can pause. Um, so we've got active sensors. These are all custom. D is the planet type, right? Yeah, so it's a class D, a class D moon. That's kind of weird, but you can see they've got a little construction there. Uh, and then we've got unknown sectors, so we need to send scouts. We need to figure out who our scouts are as the Federation. We probably also need to get some research up and then see what other buildings do. So our planet, which is this one moon, Yes, and you can zoom way in. Like, you can go all the way out to that huge tactical mode, or you can... Wow, that's gorgeous. I remember them talking about this when they were when they were designing the mod, and they were like, yeah, because we're going with, with less ships in general, right? And making them each individually more important. We can make them far more detailed. Like, you can see the ribbing on the nacelles and the glow. Oh, yeah, get ready for some starship porn in this episode. This is basically what this is, this is going to be. We're going to be looking at models. Uh, Jupiter class... You don't have a sound effect when I click you? I guess not. I don't hear anything. Oh, because it's probably paused. Let's see if that changes it. Begin a sensor scan. There we go. Bring up local star charts. Bring up local star charts. Okay, so let's learn a little bit about our units here. Hey, Mr. Mulder, thank you for the 100 bits. I think the first video I saw of yours was sin six years ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet, I bet. So you are our explorer craft and you can deploy a sensor buoy. Deploy the sensor buoy at the ship's location. A sensor probe is launched and holds position, providing the fleet with a live sensor feed of these coordinates until destroyed where it runs out of power. So it's it's got a time limit basically. So our scouts can drop probes if we wanna keep an eye on something after they leave. Well, let's go ahead and right click this. Go ahead and explore, we'll unpause. Let's get you guys out there. Just okay. tell me where to go. They're en route. While they're on the move, let's Prepare check the out colonists. the rest of the fleet. Where's... Do I not get a capital ship? Enterprise to fleet. Okay, I do get a capital ship. I can hear it. There they go. I was going to zoom in. Where's the Enterprise? Oh, no. There it is. There's the NX class. This was the pinnacle of Star Trek technology at this time period. Enterprise on station, awaiting orders. This is the Warp 5 capable Enterprise. Enterprise on station. Are you the only... Yeah. When you do a box select... Uh, and you're wondering why you don't select everything else? It's because you've selected warships. So none of the civilian ships will get picked up. None of the, like, uh, combat ships will get picked up. Ooh, space station, what do you do? We've got, oh, you're a refinery. So this is the Federation refinery. Module, C7. <laughs> I love the detail. What do their mines look like? Federation mines. Okay, yeah, I can dig it. I can dig it. Let's grab some research. I'm going to be pausing a lot. I hope that doesn't bother people too much as we learn. Uh, we can do a research outpost or an engineering outpost, and this will unlock one of our two trees. So we've got space frames. I'm going to guess this is our engineering. Yeah, engineering outposts. So we can get stuff like the Franklin class, the Neptune class, the Phobos class. What are you? Unlocks access to the Phobos class Corvette, a small, fast patrol ship. The Phobos entered service during the Earth 
Romulan War as an economical way to quickly replace Starfleet's losses. Quick and relatively cheap to build, the Phobos is reliable, light corvette, ideal for patrol duties, colonial defense, and anti-piracy assignments. Get up to the Yorktown. Heavy starship. You're gonna love the Titan at the end of the feds. Oh, I see it. I see the Constitution class right there. Somebody told me this was a thing. People wanted the Constitution so bad in Star Trek Armada that I think it's the reason this mod exists. It didn't make sense to have it because it would be so outdated. But here it is. Like a lot of these, other than like the Ares, I kind of recognize. Uh, Kobayashi class? Ah, uh, is the Star... No, the Stargazer wouldn't be in this time period because that would be too late. That would be Picard's original command. So, no, Constitution would be the latest, yeah. The Endeavor refit, which is like, what, a Constitution refit? Or a, uh, excuse me, an NX refit? Wow. Uh, so we've got Enterprise, or we've got, we've got Engineering, which will unlock subframes, and we can do stuff like trade stations, whatnot, it looks like. Or we can go Upgrades. I'm guessing this requires... This is Engineering Outpost as well. Logistics? This, this is the research stations. So this will give us airtight domes, which will increase population on planets, meaning more taxation, which means more, um, what do they use? Goods. They use goods in general as their, as their resource, because remember, no money. Um, dilithium crystals and titanium. Um, I kind of want to go, I kind of want to go economic right away instead of military. So let's go ahead and build one of these research stations. All right, all right, unpause. Unpause, we'll get the fleet Enterprise together. On station. Let's uh, let's make you guys a fleet. Let's take a look at the NX class. I'm kind of curious how this combat's gonna work. Normally you just send them in and they shoot stuff, but... So we've got 150 dilithium. We get power to cannons as an ability. This is gonna increase our weapon cooldown by 50% while burning 50 antimatter. So we can do this three times before we run out. I don't know what the recharge is gonna be like on this. Insanity, thanks for the bits. Going back to something you said earlier, there was a Stargate mod with working Stargate functions at one point in time, but the Stargate functions have since been removed due to the being of, oh yeah. We were talking about how Stargate mods never seem to have working Stargates in them. Uh, they're, or they're, they're barely even a thing in most of the mods that have Stargate uh, as their like, as their universe of choice, being like Empire War mod or, or you know, Insert whatever mod here. Home world would be another example. Um, attack pattern gamma, what does this do? Shield bypass. All right, but that's gonna cost us another 50. Interesting. These abilities are probably gonna be, oh yeah, what is what is this? Damage control. Chance to hit, max speed is dropped down, but. Okay. Kills cooldown rates, but gives us more acceleration. More max speed. And it changes based on how much damage you've taken. Weird. Weird. I guess you do max speed and chance to hit if you want to get out of there. I don't really understand how this ability works. What do you do? What is the Jupiter class? The Jupiter class has attack pattern omega. Um, ability cooldown rate is lowered by 50%. And we get target antimatter. Removes enemy antimatter. This will kill their ability to do their special their special stuff. All right, Neptune class is all about that. I have no idea. What does this do? Suppression fire. What? The enemy is unable to fire as effectively by laying down a field of fire. This ship is able to suppress enemies and limit their ability to fight effectively. Drops the enemy weapon cooldown by 50%. Whoa. Okay, all right, all right. And then we got another one of our Jupiter classes. Cool. So let's make you guys a fleet. That's still a thing. Creating a fleet allows you to set. Oh, let's unpause. Take us out. There we go. We have our fleet now. Centered around the Enterprise. Um, I want to change cohesion to tight, I think. Keep you guys covering each other. Set. So Engage form up. Engines. And how do I set you guys to move as one? Take us out. Isn't that a thing that you were able to do back in the day? All right. Enterprise form up. On station. Retreat, create fleets, leave fleet, set cohesion, engagement range, right click. Destination now, set. I know how to move them. I'm trying engines. to say is make sure they they Enterprise jump. To fleet. They jump to warp together as a group. Destination set. Engage engines. I don't see on this though. The movement tab. 
decreased game speed is down here. They've moved all the buttons around, so I'm going to want to relearn all this. Nope. Take us out. Ah, there you go. You just right click move. Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha. So all grouped. Now you'll move as a team. Enterprise on station. Mm, so our scouts have made their way out. Looks like they haven't been killed. They have a world here that we can go check out. And then we've got a three hostiles in this system. Intriguing. Destination right. set. Let's go here. Engines. Hopefully our scouts that are making their way work. through. Run! Run! Who is in this sector? Who are you? Oh, it's the Sulaban. Giving pop shots to our poor scouts. This is gorgeous. It's off. Your storyline was the worst. Get out of here. Oh, that is a lot of bad. There is. I thought Station this was empty. Complete. Oh, you so lied to me. How much health do they have? A lot. Enterprise on we are noping out. We're going this way. There's only three enemies there. There are a substantial amount more here. What are they? They are a salvage cruiser that has dispatched more Suliban ships. These only have 400 health, though. We might actually be able to take this. Did the scout die? Nope. They made it. They jumped to the next sector. So I'm bringing the fleet back. We're going to go after this one. They've only got three enemies there. And we should probably start some research. Let's pick up, um, I'm going to say, dilithium mining extraction. We'll get to work on that. I'm not going to chain too many because it'll eat up our resources. Because I do want to make a new warp ship. Uh, capital ships. Can I make any new ones? Oh, look at them all. No, I can't make any yet. They started me with one. All right, the fleet has just jumped. Saratoga. No, Constatoga. Constatoga. Remodeled version of the colony ship has established Earth's first extra solar colony ship. It's a colony vessel. Uh, Reinforcements. We've got the Jupiter or we've got the NST, known as the Emiet, one of Starfleet's earliest vessels. All right, the fleet should have been able to come out of warp and engage the enemy. Let's try some of these abilities. Enterprise. Enterprise. Go ahead, switch powers to cannons. using phase cannons at this point? It looks like they are. That fire rate. And the rear firing torpedoes. Love it. Yes, give them the good news. Who are we fighting? Kamba. Nauseans. We're fighting Nauseans. Criminal scambags. Standing by. Now, do they regenerate? Let's go ahead and suppress fire on somebody who's about to die. Do they regenerate antimatter, or do I have to do, like, a fleet tender deal in this mod? Kill them before they can stab Picard, indeed. Uh, fleet tender deal. Oh, boy. How do I get a fleet tender, then? Oh, there's another mod that used to do that, and it was a Star Wars one, and I don't remember which one it was. That's why I asked. Funny enough, they do do it, huh? Cool. It's freaking gorgeous, though, these new models. New to me. Come on, boys. I think you've got this. There they go. Ossicans, whoops, Ossicans, blow it up. We've got a warp core breach. A green explosion. As soon as they take this, we'll be able to grab that, colonize it, and turn it into our own place. I think we can actually uh, send out our colony ship right now. Colonize an away team. Whoa, what does a way team do? It takes control of a neutral structure. Oh, cool. You're going to be group two. Bring us about. Sending you in. What we haven't done is watch somebody actually jump to warp. So let's let's see what the effect is. Taking the colony ship, though. Stream, how do anybody remember what the turn UI off button is? I'll look it up, but I'll see if anybody remembers. There's the flash, and you can follow them in warp. If you've never played Sins, there is a fantastic... Star, there's a couple of Star Wars mods for it. There are now uh, two Star Trek mods for it, right? There used to be three, but I think the other one's not being worked on anymore. Um, Control Shift Z. That's what we're talking about. Yes, thank you. We've arrived on station. And because it should be on autocast or colonized. Colors. Yes, they're going to do a colonizer right now. Will we see anything or will they just beam them down? I wonder if we'll see shuttlecraft launch. That's a cool ship. I actually quite like that. I wonder where they got that from, or if that's a custom, custom design. 
There they go. They've launched shuttles. I can get them on screen. They're so tiny. We have our first... Let me turn the UI back on. Our first colony. Let's pick up the mining installations. Get those underway. And let's immediately go for... I'm going to say an engineering base. We can start doing military research. Starship research. It's not military, remember? It's Starfleet. How you doing on that research? You done? Good. Start doing this one. Not bad, not bad. Do I need to bring the fleet back? On station. How are you guys doing on health? Uh, you look like you're okay. Starfleet. Yeah, you guys are fine. Enterprise to fleet. You guys are you're fine. What's our what's our intel? Five cell ships. I think we can take that. Impulse. Yeah, I think we can take that. Now, what what Federation defense technology do you guys have? Uh, a resupply station. An S3 resupply depot houses all of the equipment and facility needed to resupply Federation starships in the field. This is your fleet tender deal. Regardless of the level of antimatter depletion. And we've got dry docks, but I want sensors, disruption satellite, equipped with a wide array of jammers and dampeners. Defense turrets, here they go. We shouldn't put a supply base. If anything, we should figure out how big Station the world is. Complete. Wait a minute. Where is the fleet? Where are our scouts? Are they dead? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Amy's is under attack. Show me. Enterprise report. On station, awaiting orders. Oh, you guys have arrived and you're under attack. That's fine. Uh, Enterprise. Enterprise on station, Go ahead orders. and... We've almost got them down. Use some of your antimatter. Overload your weapons, your fire rate. I think they're all just cell ships from the Sulaban, so we should be able to just nuke these guys down. I'm not going to worry about taking their damage down. Somebody came through. That was a red marker. Okay, research time. Uh, is that already done? Station complete. I'm going to pick up two more research there. Emergency protocols. Taxation. Yeah. Should also do upgrades. Got a hostile. We are picking up a Klingon vessel in the sector. What is this system called? Cyphera. Okay. Hmm. Kind of want to get phaser turrets now. Let's see. Uh, what would be defense? Hey, you can get you can get um. Sarek envoy. You can get um. Yeah. Diplomatic ships. So you can get Sarek. A Vulcan. Nice calming presence. They get some weird stuff. Fleet capacity research. All right. Not gonna do diplomatic outreach. We're going. We're going ham. Max population increases would not go amiss for the extra resources. Um, we can get polarized the hull plating, improved hull damage resistance. That's actually quite cheap. Let's go for that research, and we'll go for this as well. Warp factor six. You can Station research into complete. faster warp factors, so you can transfer between plants faster. How we doing? Enterprise How goes the fight? Station. Enterprise on station. Uh, the fleet is doing okay. They're alive. They're taking out Sulaban left and right, which is fairly on point for the NX class. Um, I think I'm going to bring you back to base for a rearm anyways, and I want to see how that works. So let's go ahead and overload your phasers one more time. Give them the good news, Captain. I'm going to put this up on the side. Bring honor to your house. Yes. Totally. <laughs> I want to play Playgrounds. Good torps. Almost done. Almost done. We're going to send in our colony ship now. Ready for action. You've been dispatched. Colony ship is en route. What is our build cap right now? Fleet supply is at seven. And we have an opening for a capital ship. What would it take to get that? Oh, trade stations. I forgot those exist too. Kind of want alert. that. Activate it. Asteroid is on a collision course with a planet. No. Where is that going down? This is unexplored. It's a 
sunspot. I was wondering what that was. All right. Enterprise on station. We've got our colony ship should be in route. There's their scout again. Yeah, he's on his way. Enterprise to fleet. You're completely tapped on antimatter, huh? Well, when we take this, I'll put a resupply base up here. I think that's what we're going to do. Use this, because if that's the star, we still haven't scouted this. Refinery transport's on the way. I think all our scouts are dead. Sad times. Station complete. Give me another scout. The current standards, the NST can serve as a scout when more advanced ships are not available. Done. Ooh, do they actually build in the bay? And you can see the little um, worker bees going around. Nice. I like this. I like this dry dock. That actually looks pretty cool. Our first ship ordered. So how do I unlock my first capital ship? Would that be the Yorktown? Research complete. That means I'm going to need two engineering outposts if I want to get to the Yorktown, which is a heavy Bring starship. Up local star charts. And what upgrades can we develop this planet with? Uh, nothing. We've got it maxed until we do research. Okay. Colonization was successful. All right, we got the colony. First things first, resources. Second thing, ooh, defenses. Give me a resupply base, and we'll put it right next to this. So let me get fleet. On station, awaiting orders. Come on back to base, or come on back to the resupply base that we're being we're building. It even looks like a little fuel depot. <laughs> That's cool. We could go all the way back, Research but I think having complete. one up front is a good idea. Chances are that the enemy is somewhere off here, I bet. And it goes like through in this direction, maybe. It says sensors active. How would I be able to see this? Nobody here. Hmm. That's weird. We've got freighters moving back and forth. Okay. You, planet, time for your upgrades. We're gonna go for some civilian infrastructure. Unable to comply. This will increase the max population, giving us more Station of our complete. our taxes, our goods. So we can build more ships. Uh oh. And logistics capacity, probably actually a good idea. We can get more research. Let's do that. Research. Emergency complete. facilities is another thing we can build on planets. That'll make it so when we get sieged, it won't, um, what's the word for it? How do we put it? It won't. Insufficient. We research. won't lose population so fast that we lose the planet, like, right away. Ah. <sighs> Enterprise to fleet. When's the next Awakening of the Rebellion? Uh, I don't know. Probably next week, since we've already done two this week. Transmission from Imperial Reserves. We can handle a few pirates. Let them come. Oh, no! I forgot about this. I forgot about the Criminal Underground thing. Uh, so the, the Imperials have paid the pirates off research and now complete. they're coming to kick my ass oh no come on where's the get this station done quickly we need to resupply the enterprise for combat build it fast enterprise on station awaiting orders where are the pirates where are they going to come from i definitely want to research some uh, static defenses probably under logistics planetary oh. This is how you do it. Complete. If you go to research, I think if I click it, if I go to try to build it, actually, then I click defenses, and I click research not met. Insufficient research. Insufficient research. But what do you need to get it? So, upgrades, logistics. It's not something weird like diplomacy, is it? Boosted signal. Station propaganda, complete. I'm guessing. Increase your research rate. Yes, please. Space frames? Oh, so the, so the defense station's under... There it is. 
no, that's uh, there it is down there. So you need three engineering slots Unable to, to get a defense satellite. Hmm. That's kind of far in for a small map like this. All right, let's do it. Another engineering outpost. We'll put it next to the restock, so it's got a little bit. I hope this has guns on it. It probably doesn't. Um, and I kind of want a trade port. Really gonna go hard on that economy, and then maybe order up some ships now that we're we're sitting all right. We're sitting all right on resources. So you can build me Jupiter classes, but you can't build me Jupiter class. Starfleet's vessel to travel at warp beyond Jupiter and become Starfleet's most common vessel of mid-22nd century. Though now showing its age, the Jupiter is still effective light frigate, capable of carrying out many low-priority tasks. Wow, you're really not selling this on me, but give me three of them. Because I can't build any capital ships, and I definitely can't build any of these. Cruisers, frigates capital ships. We need to research up to, like, the Ares. The Neptune class. An older class ship that direct preceded the NX. The Neptune was the first Starfleet vessel to breach Warp 3 and later was used to Station patrol complete. defending Earth. Uh, it's not telling me what it's good at. Since the formation of the Federation, this rapid pace advancement largely rendered the Neptune obsolete, but it's nevertheless continued to serve as a sturdy, dependable frigate. Or we could go for the Yorktown right away. Let's go for the Yorktown. Yorktown sounds way cooler. It's also a heavy ship, so. Why not? Enterprise on station, awaiting orders. Okay, is it done? Are you refueled? The Enterprise is refueled. I'm thinking hit and run. Destination Let's do it. set. Engage engines. We're gonna give him a poke. You guys should be set to move in as a group. It's pretty. Starship complete. Yeah, the NX does look cool. That's one of the things they nailed with the Enterprise series, was coming up with something that looked like it could be a predecessor to the Constitution, and yet didn't look kind of silly. I love the Constitution, but the, the non-refitted version Standing definitely by. looks weird. There's nothing here. Then this leads nowhere. Holy crap. Where are they must be? Okay, weird. I'm gonna order them to Change engage the, the enemy, the Sulaban, in this sector. Maybe we can kill a couple of them and then run and then get a refit and then go back in again. Because I don't think our Bring up local star charts. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm going to send you here. Alter course. I'm going to make you group three. That's our scout. I need to figure out where the enemy is located. It's weird that we haven't seen them. The other two factions. Unless they're on a different star, but I didn't think that was... Starship complete. Uh, do... Station I don't even complete. know how to research into that. That's going to be interesting. It's probably logistics. Sector expansion. Warp travel available to other sectors. There we go. That's the one we need. This will let us go to other stars. Big map. Bigger than I expected. All right, so the fleet should have arrived, and we must have engaged. Enterprise to fleet. Don't hold back. Hit him and hit him hard. I'm going to have you overload. Ready and able. I'm going to have you... Ability cooldown? Eh, probably useless, actually. Engage, engage, engage. Oh, he's got polarized the hull plating. Sadly, I don't think he's going to be targeted as a primary ship. He also gets suppression fire. Probably a good idea. Suppress the newest ship to come in. Let's lower his DPS. Can you do it? I guess he just does it, but he doesn't actually fire at him. Come on, y'all need to kill at least a few of these Sulaban. Enterprise, I'm going to have you overload your power to cannons again. Good call. Starship Enterprise complete. by itself could probably... 15% mm, bypass shields. Eh. Doesn't sound worth it. 
Target the long cell ship. So these ships are kind of cool. They'd actually attach to each other. How's everybody's shields holding? Actually, they're not doing half bad. We can bring in reinforcements from Awaiting orders. our main sector base. Steady as she goes. Get over here. Bring in those reinforcements. I might be able to straight up just win this. I may Enterprise have overestimated their ability. So Research. let's see. The Enterprise is at 700 shields. Neptune class is doing fine. Doing fine. Uh oh. Awaiting orders. The Jupiter class is actually taking hull damage. Let's have you do damage control. I don't know what happens when you fight that. Oh, no. Damage control tells you what happens as the ship takes damage. Oh, I get it. You start losing subsystems. That's what this means. Ah, oh, cool. Um, I need to break you from the fleet. I've ordered him to retreat. Hopefully he makes it. Come on, you can get out of there. Shields are down. He's down to 400 health. The actual proper refuel ship has arrived. Enterprise to fleet. He's down to 300 health, run! Everybody else is doing fine. They're chasing, two are chasing. That seems like a poor life choice. You're very on fire. And you're still in phasering range. Yeah, you should leave. And the rest of the fleet has arrived. Nice, the rest of the Federation fleet. Coming to save the day. Hey, how about you? Awaiting orders. Cover him. Ready weapons. Engage. We can save that ship. We don't have the resources to be losing. I'm gonna do some more research while we're doing this. Let's pick up, um... Uh, let's do another research one, just to get that going faster. And then for upgrades, let's get that, uh... Second level of composite armor. Yeah, they killed it. Nice. Now we can go give them a hand. Help them with the smaller vessels. We don't want to split the fleet too much. Enterprise is like, no, nah, I'm going to kill that. Almost, almost. They don't have the missiles. I guess this is after that refit. One of the weirder, cooler things that they added. Okay, we got we got an expansion now. And our scout should be at the star. So they're not in a different star sector. I just hadn't sent a scout here. Bring up local star charts. I don't know where to send you. Uh, I'm gonna send you here. Alter course. Watch that be a pirate base or some silliness. And I Begin should set you scout. as Follow my lead. How do I set you as non-combat? To run away. Tactical management. Yep, that's pirate base. Okay. Follow my lead. You need to nope right out of there. So this needs to be... This is actually a great place for a resupply point because it's right before the star. So we're going to turn Research this into a complete. defensive location. That's what this is going to be all about. Research Let's do another complete. logistics upgrade. Um... Actually do, yeah, we'll do two logistics upgrade on this so we can get the research so we can build defenses. Um, yeah, let's get one more. That should unlock our up, up, uh, space frames, defense satellites. Maybe, maybe. Oh, we can get we can get the Kelvin class now. Oh, the Kelvin was from the movie. Yeah, this is where Kirk dies. Not Kirk. Um, what's his name? Thor. Planetary Thor dies. research complete. <laughs> Some people know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna pause this for a second. Where is Portus Star Starbase? Unlocks access to the Portus Star class economic starbase with extensive docking facilities, cargo bays, and promenades. The Ordus class starbases are hubs for trade, busy centers of economic activity far larger than a traditional trade outpost. Oh. Yeah, the lens flare timeline, exactly. Hey, Shadow, thank you for that tier one sub earlier. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so uh, back to what we were doing. We're going to build a Yorktown. Comaray. Long range subspace transceiver Mark V is currently the Federation's orbital long range communications platform, sending and receiving, relaying subspace signals from all over the Federation, including private correspondence, media, cultural entertainment. Diplomatic messaging. I bet you that gives us more like intel or something.
So we want this, and it's way up there. We need five research bases. Disruption, that's the disruption satellite. No, we want this one. Yeah, we can already research it. I thought it was red like we couldn't, but we're good. Defenses are on the way. How are you doing on an income basis? You are making me money? No, you're really not. Yeah, we need to get your civilian infrastructure up there too. You got a lot of upgrades to go for. As soon as that's done, though. Unable to comply. Upgrade this planet to increase defense slots. Oh, you don't have any defense slots? Damn it. <laughs> you do. I put a hub there. That's why. Tactical capacity. Fine. We're dumping resources into this planet. Defense turrets. I think they're smart enough to go around the defense turrets. Because that would make me very sad. Planetary research complete. All right, two defense satellites. Kind of see them, but not really. So how's the fleet doing? We should be one by now, right? Yes, we have one, except for there's Romulans. The Romulans have arrived. Let's get our... Prepare the colonists. Let's get our colony Bring ship about. heading over. And let's Enterprise get to fleet. the fleet moving. The ship that fell back. Did you actually get repairs? Enterprise on station, awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. How badly beaten up are you? Steady yeah, you're pretty beat goes. up. There's his health right there. He's less than half. I bet you one of these dry docks. Yes. Yes, they have repair yard ability. So when he gets close, we should see some repairs. There it is. Being repaired, it even says it. Ready and <sighs> Awesome. We'll give you a little bit of time, get you repaired. And I think it's time to see if we can build a York town. Where do you pop up? Ye old Yorktown. Heavy dry dock, maybe? Yes! Older but well-equipped starship, the Yorktown. And that'll eat up the rest of our capital ship. Planetary research complete. Points. As they stand. That's our second capital ship. I am so down. Pirate raid imminent. Let's get the fleet Enterprise assigned complete. here. Enterprise is moving out to our front line. World? Oh, I think it's going to be a hot minute before we actually get those defenses up and online. Hmm. Sector Command Outpost unlocks access to the Sector Command Station. Most orbital tactical installations, both manned and unmanned, are capable of operating independently. However, when coordinated and controlled from a dedicated command post, Starfleet's orbital defenses and support platforms become much more effective. Station complete. For a Perseus Starbase. Pirate Raid has been launched. Red alert! Shields up. Enterprise on station. The Enterprise in warp. We need to be ready for a, uh, a battle. What's going on here? It's just a Romulan spy. That's weirdly fitting. Is our scout dead? I think our scout's dead. Ready for action. Yeah, our scout's Prepare dead again. Bummer. <laughs> Bit of a bummer. Did you manage to take the asteroids over here? You did. Good. Research complete. Well, that's kind of a worthless world. We're getting one mine there. You fully upgraded. You're not fully the upgraded. Approaching. Our reinforcements have arrived in sector. Enterprise on station. Let's get you refueled, rearmed, and ready for combat if those pirates arrive. Tell me that capital ship is off the dry docks. Where's the Yorktown? not out of the air dry dock yet. Really? Almost. Takes a minute. I'm gonna build you some support buses too, I think. Let's get you... With the... What's the Kelvin? Is the Kelvin a capital ship? You are not a capital ship, Kelvin. What is your description? Unlock access to the Kelvin class, an experiment that splintered from this new Starfleet initiative. The Kelvin is a unique design that incorporates the warp nacelle directly under the secondary hull. The upper tertiary hull houses little more than the ship's deflector dish and hangar bays for a large number of shuttle. Oh, it's your carrier. Weirdly, it's something you very rarely see in Starfleet is a carrier. He saw it fairly prominently in Deep Space Nine in one episode where they actually talked about sending fighters, which is something you, you know, it's 
Deep Space Nine, I guess, is the weird one in Star in, in all the Star Trek series where they're actually at war. Starship complete. I think they're great names, cool. Couldn't agree with you more. Or couldn't disagree with you more. Because they're named after naval vessels or locations or historical figures. Yorktown? Kelvin? Yeah, those are great names. Freaking science ship. We await your command. All right, what do we get? We get here the colonizing Station ship? No wonder complete. you're the first thing I'm able to research. Mask energy signature, deploy sensor buoy. Or target warp engines. Warp drive disabled. This, you could stop them from retreating. Hmm. I'm going to say damage reduction for right now, since we are kind of going into combat. And I do have a colony ship, so. Adjusting Let's get you to the front line. Yorktown, we need you. Enterprise on station. The fleet is Away ready. Did I pull everyone off of the... Helm, bring us about. Prep all systems. I didn't bring you back. Let's get the colony Increased ship back to the line. Engines. I thought we had a pirate raid coming. I don't believe you. Because I don't see pirates. Station complete. Kind of want to know what's over here now. Let's build another scout. Don't be a scout captain in my fleet. I think that's what we've all learned. What is your favorite Star Trek episode? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. There's some amazing ones. I love Drumhead, uh, which is a TNG episode. So that's the, the I love the court pull. ones. I love the ones where they're they're having a trial. Um, those are always good. Measure of a Man is really Bring good. Up local um, Star charts. Crew standing by. Wow, you've got a freaking fast warp drive. He's already on the front line. I think we're gonna go in. Enterprise on station. I'm not gonna complain that they didn't come and attack us, that's for sure. Are those phasers up? Phaser arrays are online. Sweet. I'm gonna go Altering punch course. him in the face. Steady as she goes. That's a pirate base, that's a pirate base. Chances are these are all pirate bases. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. Get you all Steady actually just goes. assigned there. We'll move the move our scout, our new scout just in. Tell me where to go. Cool, you're already up. So you're gonna be group Prepare the colonists. three. Begin a sensor scan. And I will try to pay more attention to you. He gets target engines now. Everybody gets it, I bet. Follow my lead. Let's go check that. You know what? Just go explore. Just do your own thing. Explore, because I'm probably going to forget when I order you somewhere and you'll sit there and you'll die. I know how this works. We, await your command. <laughs> we all know how this is going to go down. Uh, let's recreate the fleet. Helm, bring us which has moved command over to the Curry. Or to the Yorktown. That's fine. Bring engines to full. And get you all formed up. Unable to comply. Can't comply with orders. Let's do some more research. All right, fine. Let's get the, um, what do the Phobos do? A small fast patrol craft Phobos entered service during the Earth Romulan War as an economical way to quickly replace ships. Yeah, let's do it. It's actually a warship. Let's grab that. Uh, let's do more in the way of that Starfleet technology. It marks six thrusters for freaking like everything. Advanced thruster ability experimental. Hmm. I mean, there's so many good Star Trek episodes. I don't remember the name of it, but the the episode with um, Picard living an entire life on a planet. I think that's one of my favorites, too, where he learns to play the flute. Which is a weird description if you've never seen it. It's just fantastic. Uh, um, 
A lot of TNG episodes are going to be on my favorite list because those feel like Star we Trek to me. Command. All crews stand ready. All crews stand ready. We're about to move forward. We're waiting for the scout to arrive who's already making quick work of it. I want to know what's in those systems. Inner light. Thank you. Yeah. Just tell me where to go. Deep Space Nine had some good ones. Ba uh, you know, uh, any of the war episodes. Um, the mid-range two episodes are complete. good. Some of those are the better episodes in Voyager, actually, honestly, of the few ones. Research complete. All right, what's in this unknown sector? Something terrible. Ooh, a planet. Like a proper planet. And some... I swear I saw hostiles. I don't see hostiles. Crew standing by. What the hell? There are hostiles. The Romulans are being chased by the... Conians? Arconians, yeah. Bring engines to full. They're doing that weird thing. And there's another planet. Yeah, we need to go check that out. We need to go check that out and claim it. Call dibs. Adjusting coordinates. So the scout's about to arrive. What do we got? What do we got? Another planet. Yes. This is income right here. This one's being Mazarites. Yeah. Those are actually some tanky ships. Look at that. That's that's in X levels of health, I think. All right. Fleet's on the way. Scout's already making his run. A few phasers. Really, the phasers are there to delay the enemy until we can arrive to help. Research um, complete. I guess we're going to have to do fleet research. I'm always... Fine, we'll do our tier one fleet research. This lowers our general income, but increases the fleet capacity. Which is a weird balancing point that Sins has always had. As you grow in how big your fleet can be, the total amount of money drops every time you do it. So choosing when to go for a bigger fleet, or maybe just making the fleet you have stronger, is kind of a big deal. Um, all right, let's go for the Franklin class. I don't think I can actually build any. I can build a Curry class. Research. Or Kelvin. Complete. I want to build a Kelvin. Do it. Build it. I want to see what the special abilities are. Crew standing by. Quick while they're distracted, grab the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing worse than fighting over a planet and then having somebody swoop it and colonize it while you're fighting for it. Yeah. Bastards. <laughs> All right, the fleet's getting ready to jump. Jump to warp. I get a bunch of angry. They don't jump, Shaq. Research uh, yeah. complete. Helm, bring us about. And they're away. Now, there were enemies there, but they were way off the center. They were, like, out here. <laughs> so they'd probably have to jump away Research and then jump back complete. to even catch up to us. We're totally calling dibs on this. Need harsh settlement research. Oh, no. I can't actually grab this. I haven't done harsh research. On... Would that be logistics, probably? Uh, oh, I don't I have the outposts. Comply. Crap. Crap baskets. Can I research? Can I build it here? Uh, yes, I can. Research outpost. We're fine here. You got to research the uh, build settlements in some places. Standing so the real question is, oh, they're trying to chase them. Don't. Don't chase them. I mean, I guess you don't really have anything better to do since... Fine, whatever. Go, go kill it. Go, go and get in there, Enterprise. Enterprise to fleet. I love the audio. Enterprise on station. Enterprise on station. I wonder where they got that from. Ready and able. Yeah, chase it down. It's fine. I will send the... Hopefully you make it. Colony ship has been dispatched. How is the NX we doing? Have you... Command. Have you gotten a level up yet? I mean, you've been in multiple engagements. Enterprise on station. No, you haven't leveled up yet. Sad times. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fleet, come about. Yellow alert. 
Activated. And engage the scouts. Oh, he'll never make it. I want to get that, that scout up here. Or that uh, that carrier that we're building. Mm, they're going to run, aren't they? Crew standing by. I'm giving you orders to go here. Don't chase him down. Because if he jumps, I don't want the whole fleet, the armada, chasing them around. That'd be terrible. Research time. Uh, Yeah, I can't get that yet. Ooh, what are you? Dilithium infusing. Max to antimatter increased by 25% or increase shields. We are the Federation. Starship increase shields. Complete. Station complete. And increase hull points. And increase armor. Armor is probably the best one we should be increasing right now. Ooh, phaser damage too. Yeah, let's do it. We may not have a lot of ships, but we might have a ton of research making them better. How is the curry? It's done. Is the curry done? Shields I Shields are curry. stable. Coordinated attack. Uh, we have type three shuttlecraft as a choice. Oh, all of the choices. <gasps> Look at that model though. Oh, it looks good. All right. Get those um, shuttle resupplies in. And I will have you assigned to defend Hi, sir. this sector. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up today's episode of Age of the Federation, this campaign playing as the, oh, the Federation itself, as we learn. If you're interested in playing the mod yourself, I highly recommend it, particularly uh, multiplayer. I, I'm real early in, but I know this team, and I know how like good work they do. Oh, they've engaged. They have engaged the enemy. I think they I think they ran away. Yeah, they ran away. Colony ship. Research. Get away from complete. the edge of the system. So... You'll have fun with it. Probably more fun multiplayer. That's kind of where Sins shines is playing multiplayer. Cop stops or against your friends. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. There's more sci-fi modding gaming goodness. Later, everybody.